Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Santi. Uh, I'm with Sandia Shine Co. out here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, I just want to show you this tank that we set up. We're running a car wash, um, just like a $35 exterior hand wash and spray wax. Um, more so for advertising to get people to hear about us. And we can turn out some quick stuff. We're doing it down at a uh, farmer's market. We worked with them to get a spot. So pretty cool. Um, let's see. Um, bed is actually pulled tight so the door won't come down unless I loosen the straps, which I'm not going to do at this moment. So I'll just take you guys down in here so you can see what we did. Um, so got the tank and it had this spigot on it, which has like the cam locking end on it. So one of the ones that's got the little two levers so you can hook up a hose there. So we got this rubber boot with uh, worm clamps on it, ran it into a, and this is two inch, into a two inch PVC reducer down to three quarter inch got galvanized adapter male to male um, brass uh, female to male we got a splitter here this splitter opens up so that way we can run our fill our buckets wash our hands split off over here this isn't normally this kinked it's just the doors closed into this little harbor freight pump and we got it we just ran some self tappers in it um, into the metal frame of this tank. Um, made this little hose, about like 10 feet of hose and the adapters. I think I gotta shorten it just a little bit so we can get rid of this kink. Um, and then we got another, on the other side of the pump, we got another splitter. So you can see here, we got this one that runs up. It's down here for now, but that one runs up to the top of the tank. So that way while the pump is on, um, we still got that continuous flow and it just dumps back into the tank. And then I got a QD here. This one will QD um, into a, another hose that runs over to my water treatment, which is right before my pressure washer, which is here. So we do have the spotless system and I only had this at first. And then we just got this little setup, little GE filters. We got a sediment filter here that runs into a, a carbon filter here. And so I can in that water here and then it goes to the two stage and then we have a hose out here. And what I did was I, I ran it all the water through here into the tank first and then we we're running out of the tank. This is on QD as well from right here. And then this ran into that, that Y splitter right after the pump. So that way we were running the water that was already filtered in that tank down through the spotless so we can get that deionized water and then another QD that goes into the pressure washer. Um, it seemed to work pretty decently. We had enough pressure um, to run the hose and everything. I'm sure there's a few adjustments. If you have any ideas, let me know. Just kind of wanted to share this. It was a really cool thing that we just kind of did um, for fun. So let me know if you got any ideas, any tips, um, any thoughts. I might start switching out some of the um, orifices like in my hand. Uh, cannon the gun um, Because that's just like a $20 foam cannon set up from like Amazon So I think if I step that up a little bit wider get a little bit better flow um, I will say this feels like it's a little low pressured even with that pump um, But it got I mean it got the job done. So there's some tips. All right, not really tips Just my experience is what we got done um, And I look forward to hearing back from you guys. See y'all again